Hey, five fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps, and I'm joined now with the one and only Tommy Fury. Tommy, how are you? I'm very well, thanks, yourself. Yeah, good. A very entertaining press conference, that. Your dad is a memorable man. Yes, he is. I think he's the best uh, <laughs> promoter in the entire world, obviously. He's seen the great goods that he delivered for my fight. Many, many moments uh, leading up to that. And uh, again, you know, here in Saudi Arabia on stage, uh, him, Mike Tyson going out, it's just crazy to see, like, <laughs> my dad having words with Mike Tyson, which is just a mad thing to process. Was it, was it a little worrying, though, as a son, to be like, Dad, you're challenging Mike Tyson right now? Not really, because it's, <laughs> you know, it's my dad, isn't it? I, I, you know, I, I, I bet get, I'd bet with my dad against anybody in the world because uh, my dad's got balls like King Kong at the end of the day. <laughs> and uh, there's no man on planet Earth that he'd back down from, no matter what they've done past or present. So uh, it is what it is. Well, I have to ask you, obviously, about the appeal and what your thought your thoughts are on all of it. Yawn. Tired. Tiring. <laughs> tiring. They already appealed it and they gave me a unanimous decision. <laughs> uh, listen, at the end of the day, it's, it's crazy. The man's going on like a child, like a 10-year-old losing an amateur contest. I'm going to appeal it. You lost fair and square. You went, you were star jumping in the ring and hugging me all night. Do you think that's going to win a fight? Forget KSI. We've been there. We've done that. He's, um, he's just an idiot. Let him go back to his podcasting and game him whatever he's doing um, and leave the fighting to people who actually want to come and fight. So the rematch is not really of interest for you? I mean, right now, I'm enjoying some family time mm -hmm. and I'm sure me and the team will get around the, the table, you know, in the coming months and we'll, we'll see what path, you know, is, is right to go. But at the end of the day, I, I don't like fighting people who don't come to fight. You know, at least Jake Paul, you know, he, he come to fight, he was coming, you know, he, he, was, he was giving as good as he got. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, this guy running around the ring the whole night, stunk the place out, didn't want to stand and trade. <sighs> I don't know. What can you say about that? There's not much you can say, is there? Well, I can't speak for 100% fact, but I heard you got paid quite a good amount. So I, I would imagine, <laughs> I would imagine the numbers would have to be even better to to take the rematch, right? You could say that. <laughs> um, but no, listen, it is what it is. I'm, uh, I thank God every day for, for the position that I'm in. Um, and that's it, you know, when we forward it, like I said, I, I did say before all this, I said I beat Jake Paul and KSI in 12 months, and I have done. I beat one in February and I beat the other one just before, so... You know, they're the two biggest names in this whole crossover scene, so I now run this. I mean, no one can say I don't. I beat the two I, on their, on both of their shows. Mm -hmm. I fought Jake Paul on his own show, beat him. I fought KSI on his own promotion, his own show. He picked the judges, he picked the referee. I went and beat him. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's my shots now. I'll, I'll fight when I'm ready. I'll fight where I want to fight, and it's going to be on my terms because I've earned that right now. Jake Paul obviously wants the rematch, but he signed with the PFL, so we don't really know what's going to go on there. He's saying that he wants to fight somebody uh, come December, mm -hmm. and he wants to sort of solidify himself in boxing. Do you have any ideas to who that is? I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, I've not spoken to Jake at so all. It's not a rematch with you. I mean, I've just come from the Cheesecake Factory, so I don't think so. <laughs> um, no, it's not a rematch with me. Um, I don't know who he's fighting, but... You know, Jake's not a stupid man. I'm sure he'll get somebody in there that he can uh, try and look good against and, uh, you know, try and put himself in line for that rematch again. Right. Um, because, you know, Jake's not a stupid guy. You know, if he, wants, if he wants another big, big fight, you know, I'm that man for him. Mm -hmm. You know, he can't fight anybody else and get that, those kind of numbers. So he knows where I'm at and uh, I'm sure we'll meet again down the line somewhere. And lastly, uh, just your thoughts are on Showtime leaving boxing. What yeah. do you think about that? I can't really speak too much on the situation because I don't know a lot about it. But, you know, as a kid, I used to grow up and watch um, all the big fights on Showtime. So uh, I think it's, you know, it's a sad time, but I'm sure, you know, there's a reason for it. And I wish them best of luck. Okay. Yeah. Well, Tommy, thank you for your time. I thank appreciate you. it. Any, appreciate any final words? Anything else you'd like to say? Yep. God bless everybody and uh, <laughs> stay tuned for the next moves. Take it all easy. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye, fans.